Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to talk about a very nice feature of Proteus program. It just uh, can make it fun and uh, amusing stuff, not just serious stuff and electronics but you can make animation and maybe you can make games out of that animation uh, what we have here is a fish and this fish figure can animate let's play it and see how it's working you can see the animation is running and the fish is moving back and forth we will talk today about how we construct uh, this animation step by step and try to make it easy and understandable so let's stop it and see how did we get that we start to draw to draw the figure of the fish so how we can do that we do it by the graphical uh, two dimensional graphical tools here are the tools with this tool you can draw line and here you draw a square and here you draw a circle and curved lines with this one so basically these tools are enough to draw most of the figures uh, we can think of I have here the figure I have drawn uh, the figure of the fish to make it uh, animate we have to hide some parts of it so I did the fish is jumping between two position if we animate it again you see there's a position up and position down actually there are two figures not just one so the figure is just a copy of this so we can make another copy of this figure and I placed it like this So, the first spirit should show only should show only the above figure of the fish. So, the lower one should completely be hidden. How we can hide it? We go to the line we want to hide and right click on it, edit the properties of it and then we go to the color it's like here so we unlock it and then we choose this line in order to be hidden it has to get the same color of the background it's the paper color so we have to modify it to have the background color which is here the paper color so we choose it and select for this only now we see that line is gone is not uh, shown anymore we have to do this for all the lines that we want to hide at the first place so I'll do that for all of them <clears throat> step by step one by one and then so this just to show basic idea I will not go through the whole thing just to show uh, sorry here yeah. to show the idea behind it see I, I made the mistake here I chose the white color it should be the paper color this one also 
when we are done with this and here the I also here the I because it's complete figure like the square it has too many properties we concern only about the color it's done this one is just the origin of the drawings I covered it from here so it, we don't need it actually here so I have to do all this even for those parts here I'm not go through that so suppose that we have done the whole thing here I'll just delete those not to waste time now for this figure I want to show the four steps of it or four states of it first one this one will not see it and the mouth this part will not see it so it will be like big at the beginning so also from here we have two states for the tail I will hide one like this and this one hide it so we know the animation is just a sequence of steps repeatedly like uh, cartoon movies so this is the first uh, figure so actually at the beginning we have to draw the whole figures in one I mean so this is not completed I, I just delete it but it should be like this at the beginning then we hide the ones which we don't need in the certain step or the state so here this one move the basic the beginning the second one will make this to disappear and then we make the upper one to appear okay. after we have done this we have to make it as a symbol so we select the whole uh, figure and right click and go to make symbol when you make symbol you have to give it a name this name let's call it uh, my fish for example it has to have underscore and you start numbering from zero this is the way it should go and then you choose the library you wanna put it in you press ok and then it will go to the library I will not do it because I've done it already so I'll show you now how I construct that we need to get the symbols library here so we right click choose place and go to sample and then you select one of these or you go from libraries but I have them here so let's start with the fish number zero okay we see here I have them all I've done the drawings so if we animate them we just go through this step by step let's see we understand zero one two three as I move you see how the figure is going here how it's moving it's doing the sequence what we want if you want to see how the construction of it let's see set zero I'll take it here place one image of it when we place it actually here is uh, the, f the real figure let's when you select it it show everything all the components all the st uh, 
the drawings of the lines, circles, whatever you draw in here. So everything. But you, when you unselect it, it shows only the ones that it will affect and it will show when it's placed. So this is the first state. This is the second state. It's different. Actually, this has no different. Oh, we see the difference here, not here. I was looking here. But if I place the other one, we'll compare. See what's the difference between this and this? Uh, this uh, fin is moving up instead. Uh, and we have uh, in the tail, there's a change. So this is how it goes. Now, after we have done all these, we have to make the component. We, this is a component actually, it's a device like any other device of Proteus. So if we go to the library, let's go and see a device. We will take the battery, this is a device. We have here a lamp, this is a device. The lamp device is our helper here because we will get its engine to move uh, because it has states it's it's a component that drive 10 states and these 10 states will drive our 10 states of the figure here so what we will do is we'll construct the component I'll show you how I did this component how, how I constructed it so I did this let's delete this and do it again uh, I go to the states here it should be here but if you can't see it here you just right click empty place and then place symbol and you click one of them or place from library it will show you all the samples uh, if you have it here the library so let's go again and do it place sample and I click on one of mine and I place this figure here so this is the state number zero I have to choose all the states and put them on top of each other exactly so they coincide on each other so let me take the number one place it on top of this one exactly uh, to make it exactly we have to use the grid somehow it helps to make them coincide exactly so I have it exactly on top of it when I click it disappears actually they will disappear all of them only one figure will show at the end even all of them are combined on top of each other they are stacked so let's take the uh, second one or number two this is the third where we start counting from zero put it on the top third one fourth one and after this one we'll see this upper part will disappear now after I finish see we we see only the lower one now so we have to uh, put the rest on top of it using the lower figure as a guide and we almost done and they have the last one here okay we are done all the 10 states here from 0 to 9 are on top of each other so they can animate but we have to make this as a device and we know to make a device you have to have at least one pin electrical pin 
so we have I will add two pins one and two those pins we can uh, rotate them here like this and then we have to give them a name so number one for this one and number two for this one okay now we are not ready yet we need engine to drive it we need to have some small program to drive the spreads as the current change inside the wires we can do that only in uh, programming language it's a very long process but the easy way is to bring the lamp from the library I have it here this from Proteus library you can go here or from here and pick a device pick device and then write lamp you will see it right away it's here and then you bring it so I'm not uh, I have it here because I have modification for the lamp itself I have another one anyway we will decompose we right click on it decompose it now it's tiered apart we need only this script of it this is the script that construct the lamp that's what we need we will add the script to our figure here and we delete the rest we don't need it okay now we are ready to make the component how to make it select all this stuff the pins and the figure the stacked spirits and this engine script and then right click and make device after that we can name it whatever name we want fish lamp for example and then here we have to put the name of the spreads we made we made we call them fish from 0 to uh, 9 so total of 10 that's all we have to do this is the most important part because it's it concerns the active part of the device so let's go next next we don't concern about this and here we choose the category and then the user device we are done after we are done we don't need this anymore we just delete it so we can place the component now and hook it up to the power and see how it works let me delete that because I have this one is already hooked to the power the power line let me delete this the power coming from a DC generator we bring the DC generator from here generators DC and we place this one but here I choose to be a sine wave generator the voltage is 15 as a big value and here's the frequency how fast it's the changes of the voltage which will uh, determine how fast the states are rotating of the figures so we will see this is what we have as a result of that if I want to make it faster I just increase the frequency here and it will go faster uh, thank you for watching and see you next time